Random, what did you do before this? I was a personal chef. Oh my Love that. Yeah. So I wanted to go, I wanted to be a lawyer. You can also see that. Although I'd be yeah. an emotional mess and I would hate sitting in a cubicle. But, oh, right. Yeah. yeah, but it was, I wanted to be an animal rights lawyer, but my husband was going to med school and I was like, if I go to law school, we're gonna get divorced. So <laughs> I decided to take a back seat and this happened, you know? So <laughs> well, I love this. So this needed to happen. Yeah. It's Elena with the Handcut Group. I am here today at Secondhand Hounds for our community spotlight. Let's go check it out. We are here today with Rachel, who is the founder, director, head honcho of Secondhand Hounds. And then we're also here with Alice and Austin. These little guys are going up for adoption soon. Tell us a little bit about Secondhand Hounds and how you got started. Well, Secondhand Hounds is a 501c3 nonprofit animal rescue based in the Twin Cities. And what we do is we take animals from all over the country and we bring them to Minnesota where they go into foster homes and then they are loved like little family members until they find their forever home. That's kind of the basic like basis of what we do, but we have a lot of other programs. We do hospice care for animals. We do neonatal care. We have our own veterinary center. We also just merged with an organization called People and Pets Together, providing social services to people that are maybe struggling financially. So wow. we do a lot. Obviously, it's taken a while to build to this point, but how long have you guys been around? Um, when did you get started? Okay, <laughs> okay. I founded Secondhand Hounds in my basement in 2009. Um, I was seven months pregnant, and I always say that the hormones made me do it. Um, I thought I was apparently superwoman and could do all of it at once. I can attest to that. <laughs> I thought this is gonna be like just this small little rescue, not like a big, you know, a big thing. It was like gonna be a nice little hobby for me. I love people as much as I love animals, so I think people really responded to that model and it exploded. I mean, the more people heard about it, the more they wanted to help, and soon 30 dogs became 300 dogs. We expanded to cats and all the other programs that we do. It was definitely a whirlwind situation and now we're the biggest animal rescue by revenue in the Midwest. So, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's been, it's been wild. So how many animals since you started um, have you gotten into permanent homes? Over 24,000. Yeah. Wow. Which is crazy. When I think of all those like faces, it like hits me in my gut like that. Oh and, and that's not me. That's our fosters, our volunteers, our staff, the people on the front ends of it from the shelters advocating for these animals. It's really overwhelming to think what just like a few people can make such a big difference. There's so many different facets to what you do here. So what are the different ways that people can get involved? Yeah, there's tons of ways. You don't need to like take an animal home, although you can. We have fostering, volunteering at events. These guys are going to a puppy party later today. A lot of people love to volunteer for those. You literally bring puppies to a party. I mean, <laughs> could it be better? Consider adopting your next dog instead of um, purchasing from a breeder. That's an easy way to make a difference and you're actually saving two lives instead of one. You're opening a spot for another rescue animal to come in. If you have a pet already, you can come to our veterinary center and every cent that you spend is going right back into the mission of saving lives. We are always taking in-kind donations or or financial donations at our rescue office. We're looking for people that want to do office hours, hang out with puppies like this, do a little cleaning and organizing <laughs> at the same time, maybe some laundry. There are so many like volunteer opportunities at events. If you love to drive um, and want to drive some animals to safety, there's just so many ways and all you have to do is go to secondhandhounds.org, fill out a volunteer application and you'll see a list of all of those ways to make an impact and you can select the ones you're interested in. You and the puppies. <laughs> we'll finish puppy list. <laughs> We lost our puppies. We lost our puppies. We're sad. They had to go to their party. Yeah, which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with over 24,000 animals that have kind of come through the doors here, um, do you have a particular story that just like warms your heart that you absolutely love? I have many. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna take one that happened recently because it's fresh in my mind. About a month ago, we tagged a dog from a shelter who had been hit by a car and had a fractured pelvis. We do this a lot through our fighter fund for animals that are victims of abuse or neglect. We brought her to secondhand hounds and upon her intake, we realized that she was with child, she had puppies in her, which was obviously a big added complication because with a crushed pelvis, she could 
couldn't naturally give birth. Mm -hmm. So luckily we have our vet center and they scheduled a C-section for her. A lot of our staff members came to help because there were 10 puppies. And so obviously you need a lot of hands to catch the puppies after they come out. And when they came out, none of them were breathing. They were all blue. It was like very shocking and kind of scary for people that had never done that before. And everybody spent time rubbing them and getting them in oxygen and they all survived. Coral is recovering. She has surgery on her pelvis in a few weeks here and hopefully the whole happy family will be okay soon. So it was just like that full circle moment of yeah. this is why we're here. This all is the, why we were all here. All the emotion and yeah. just absolutely everything. Oh my exactly. gosh. Exactly. So and yeah. so the puppies are only how old? Well, now they're what, 10 days old? Yeah, 10 days about old? 10 days old. They're okay. just the cutest little rugrats and ooh, I love them. And it's it was really fun because mom is black. And so a lot of times you'll get a litter that's completely black. And all these puppies were different colors. There was cow puppies, <laughs> there were husky looking puppies. They were like every shape and size and color. So it was really exciting. Oh my gosh. So they'll probably be up for adoption in a couple of weeks. Yeah, they'll, they, we put them up for adoption at six weeks old, but they can't go home until after eight weeks old. So they should be on the website in about a month. How'd you come up with the name Secondhand Hound? Kind of self-explanatory, but I want to yeah. know like, what was the thought behind it? So my mom is a romance writer. So cool. Her, yeah, she's a New York Times bestseller. I'm bragging <laughs> on my mom for a second. When I was trying to decide what to name the organization, I basically sat her down and she was like, you're not starting a rescue. And I'm like, yes, I am. And you're gonna help me name it. And she came up with some really cute names and Secondhand Hounds just kind of felt like a good fit. Love of course, it. now we're doing cats and I don't know if you know, my future goal is to have a farm sanctuary with like tiny houses and all Stop the it. things. So I love I'm it. like, we're kind of outgrowing maybe the secondhand hounds name, but it's still like who we are at our run. Oh my gosh, I have a farm sanctuary as the next goal. Oh Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. Yeah. I mean, you can rescue every sort of animal. <laughs> exactly. There, <so. laughs> Donkeys, heck yes. Pigs, love why it. not? Do you have any events coming up that people can get involved with? Absolutely. We always have adoption events. It's really great if people want to meet a dog or a cat to go to those. But if you want to get dressed up and a little fancy, we have Bon Appetit, which is our annual gala. It is at the depot on September 9th, um, and it is such a cool event. You really understand the organization, you get that energy, and you can also bid on some really cool experiences like trips to Africa and puppy parties and wow. everything in between. Oh my gosh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Super fun. And where can people go to find more information? I'm assuming online. And yep, secondhandhounds.org is the best like landing pad for everything. Um, and you'll find direct links to the events, to volunteering, to fostering, whatever your heart desires.